This is a basic maintenance guide for the EMAC FL 3-way. First thing we need to do is get to the 3-way itself. So in order to do that we need to remove the frame and the grips, pop the grips off, remove the frame, Two frame screws removed. Gonna remove the frame, place the body to one side. Make sure you don't lose the gasket in the top here when you remove the frame. Next we're gonna push out the retaining pin, place that to the side with the screws. And I'm going to remove the transfer block. You can see this time the transfer block has come out with both gaskets in the transfer blocks. Place that to one side. Remove the three-way. Place the frame to the side. Now two main areas of the three-way itself. We have the front end with the hex cap on. This is the main spool section. On the back here we have the QEV. So starting with the front end, remove the cap. It should just be on finger tight. Let's we'll remove front cap. And it's probably best to try and use some pointy nose pliers. We can pull out the spool and we can pull out the brass insert. Inside there then we have two more parts. We have the spacer, top hat spacer, and finally, just using a pick, you want to carefully pull out the small o-ring that's inside there. So that's the, the spool end there. Just take uh, a microfiber or a cloth you can just wipe off any old grease or dirt build up from those components. Just give them a wipe over and check them over. Just to note there's a very small section here on the main spool. This needs to be straight. If this is bent in any kind of way it will need replacing. Uh, having this part bent, the only time it can get bent is through incorrectly installing it into the frame, but I'll show you how to do that correctly in a second. So just check all those, you've got a 6x1 o-ring on the outside here, you have a number 4 o-ring here and another number 4 o-ring here, and the spares of all of those in the spares package that comes with the 3-way. Okay. Now I normally find the easiest way to reassemble this is to do it as an assembly and then slide it all into the three-way body itself. So we're just going to, with a very small amount of grease, we're going to lube up the inside o-ring on the spool guide. At this point we can insert the spool. Next comes the spacer. And this goes, this is a top hat spacer. It needs to go in the correct way around, and that is with the flat disc towards the front of the valve and the holes in the small section towards the rear of the valve. That goes on there like that. Then we can put another little bit of grease on the final o-ring. Slide that onto the end. This whole assembly can now go into the valve body. slid in and finally the cap can go back on again just goes on finger tight okay so the important bit of reassembly is to make sure that when you reassemble this back into the frame that the spool is pushed all the way in as far as it'll go into the valve body always make sure that's fully pushed in before you insert it back into the frame okay and put the transfer block back on. The hole in the transfer block goes closest to the valve body. It can all get clipped together. Again, check the spools pushed all the way in. Slide the assembly all the way in. Just want to make sure that the spool, the end of the spool, isn't caught on top of the push rod. 
So the push rod in here, always best to make sure that that's in the forward position if you can. Make sure the spool is in, the, the push rod is forward onto the back of the trigger. Make sure that the spool of the three way isn't sat on top of the push rod. Okay. Again, make sure the gasket's in place. I want to take the retaining pin, slide that through. Make sure everything's nicely assembled before attaching the frame back to the body. Put the screws back in. Grips can go back on. And that's basic maintenance for the FL three way, the EMAC.